mom, dad, don't watch this. And in fact, if you're related to me and you got Christmas presents from me, don't watch this because you don't need to know how much I spend on your Christmas present. But the rest of YouTube land does. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, my husband Mauricio and I are on the Dave Ramsey plan trying to pay off more than three, 350. Wow. Oh, thank goodness. No, more than $250,000 worth of debt in, in three ish years. I should stop putting a time constraint on it. Cause I really have no idea how long it's going to take us. It could take decades. Today we are going over the Christmas budget. How'd we do? We did. Okay. I'm, I'm shockingly surprised at how well we did. We started out with $1,750 in our budget. And when all was said and done, we spent $1,879.40. So $1,800. $79.40. So relatively speaking, that's pretty dang impressive for us. Usually like halfway through the Christmas season, the budget like goes out the window. It didn't this year. I mean, it really didn't. There were a couple of things and that extra money is actually Wendy and Mauricio's gifts because neither one of us, we both need clothes and we felt like clothes were going to be the way to go this year, but we both we both wanted other things. Like I would love to have a camera for YouTube. I mean, that would be the best. And Mauricio is dying for a big green egg grill. Both of those presents would have been like 700 to a thousand dollars. And we're just not in a financial position where we should be spending that kind of money on Christmas gifts. Now I will tell you historically that would have been a perfectly acceptable Christmas gift for us. I, and I'm not kidding. Our Christmas budgets in the past, well, they weren't really budgets cause we didn't have one, but Christmas is a pretty over the top time. So confining us to $500 for Melina, that, that was intense. I mean, way intense. So here is what we've got going on so far. Initially for Mauricio, I had spent planned on spending $120 and we ended up spending $159.44. And the reason is I got him two t-shirts. He really likes having funny t-shirts that represent like the shows he watches, but that only people who also are fans of that show would get. Like, for example, he has a Pollo Hermanos t-shirt that is the chicken restaurant that was in Breaking Bad. And he has like a Terminus barbecue shirt for The Walking Dead. So that kind of thing. And I found two very funny ones for our favorite Christmas movie, Christmas Vacation. So the two t-shirts that I found for Mauricio, the first one was Eddie's RV shop. And if you know Christmas Vacation, you get Eddie's RV shop. And the second one was the super funny, I don't know, Margot shirt. And again, if you watch Christmas Vacation, you get it. But I loved both of these shirts and I knew Mauricia would appreciate them. It's our favorite Christmas movie. I mean, we just love it. Then I also got him a $100 gift card so he could buy whatever clothes he wants. And that's what we agreed to. For me, Mauricio spent $162. And since I am recording this for before Christmas, all I know is he got me something from LL Bean for $62. And then we had agreed on a hundred dollar gift card for clothes. I don't know. I can't tell you because it is before Christmas that I'm recording this. You'll see it after Christmas. So by the time you see it, I'll know, but it's going to be already uploaded by then. So Here's hoping it's awesome. I'm sure it will. I adore Mauricio has great style. So I am sure it'll be fantastic. And I'm going to save Melina's category for last because that is going to be where we spent the bulk of our money. So for my parents, we had originally set a hundred dollars a piece for each one of them. And we ended up combining those $200 to buy them a ring spotlight camera for with a two-way 
uh, talking and silent alarm. And basically what it is, is it's a camera that faces outside the door that they can use on their phones or the iPads to talk to the people that are outside because both of my parents are slower moving. And if they have to answer the door during the day, this will allow them to tell the people at the door, I'm coming, I will be right there or to not get up and answer the doorbell. So normally this would be a $250 item, but we were able to get it $149. So I am super excited. We got it on Black Friday and actually it was Cyber Monday. I, we had planned the vast majority of our presents out ahead of time. Um, so we were just looking for the deals on the things that we really wanted. So the total bill on that was $152.04 with tax. So I, I was I was pleased and that gave us some extra money to shift to Melina because you're about to see that Melina was way over. Shocking. The next two on our list are my brother's kids. There are two boys, one and they're young like Melina. One is a little bit older than Melina and one is a year younger than Melina. And we ended up getting them a gift, a joint gift for both of them. We got them a four person player of laser tag with a gaming tower. And so it's, they will love it. Love, 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 love it. They will be so excited to have this. My brother and his wife and Mauricio and I came to an agreement that since we all have kids, Christmas should be all about the kids. So we do not exchange Christmas presents. Then with Mauricio's sister and her husband, we spent, we bought them a joint gift and it was about a hundred dollars. We had some pictures taken a while back with Melina, with Melina, Mauricio and I, and then Tio and Tia. Those pictures turned out so cute. So I printed out two of those on canvas because they don't have any pictures. And one is just of the two of them. And one of them is them with Melina. So now they have some pictures of all of them and they look great. They're just fantastic. So I was really pleased and I would show you them, but you know, I don't have their permission to put them in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that out, out of respect for them. And then Mauricio's parents, Abuelo and Abuela, we are sending them money. We were also sending them during that same picture um, session, we had a picture of Mauricio and his sister and Melina all taken together. So we will be sending the picture of the three of them, as well as a picture with all five of us down to his parents. But that was just a picture. So it wasn't very expensive, but we will be sending them cash in the same amount that we spent on my parents. We try and keep everything equal. The only thing that isn't equal is Mauricio's sister and her husband get gifts and my brother and his wife do not, but that is an agreement we made with them. So we're okay with it, but we really do try and keep everything equal. If, if we spend X on my parents, we spend X on his parents and we've always been that way. And then the kindergarten teacher, we gave her a $50 Amazon gift card. The teaching assistant, we gave a $25 gift card. And then my Christmas party for my office ended up being $228.96. I took them to an escape room and oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I had such a blast. And I took not only my group, but I also took my two supervisors and some of the other people associated with our group. So I was able to get an amazing price. Um, so under $20 a person by using a Groupon and um, a group discount. So super exciting. I was really, really pleased with that. And I, everybody loved it. And it's different from your traditional like lunch out sort of thing. So I was really pleased to do it. So we only had things that were under, and that was very fortunate because we were definitely over in the Molina category, but we were over significantly less than we usually are. So basically what happens every year is I set out the presents that are coming from Santa. Molina's around, so, you know, I can't say that too loudly. And to see if we have enough 
And nine times out of 10, when I see it all grouped together, it is very lame. Now, I did talk about Melina's Christmas dress in what I bought online. And I, so I'm not going to go over that again, but that did actually this year, that's part of the reason we were over because I did buy that and a pair of adorable gold little tennis shoes for her to wear with that for her pictures with Santa that were so cute. Oh, she was adorable. That is part of the Christmas budget. Next year, I'm going to put that in the November budget to remember to to buy her a Christmas dress and everything associated with it. So what is coming from this year? We did get her a few things that she asked Santa for. She wanted some hair chalk. She went to a little friend's house and they were coloring their hair with hair chalk. And so we found this one for $8.19. We got some non-toxic nail polish that the kind that peels off that's really good for kids. Um, we got a package of those for $16.99. I got her an eight pack of flavored lip smackers for $9.95. And I know she will love that. And then another thing she asked Santa for was makeup. She's six. So we got her a kid's washable makeup set with it that came in a glitter cosmetic bag. And it was $14.99. My mother is going to be giving her a little vanity that she can use. And so Santa will put it out and put all these things all over it. Another thing is Melina has four American Girl dolls. Two more thanks to um, Dawn over at Sensible Living with Money Mom. And if you didn't see that video, I'll link it up here in the Eye in the Sky. And so she doesn't have beds for those dollies and she was dying to have beds for all four of her dollies. So we got her a dolly bunk bed and that one was $89.95. But it comes with all the accoutrements and, and pillows and cute little stuff. So it's a 20 piece doll bedroom set, super adorable. Other things that Santa is bringing is he's bringing Nerf guns and Nerf bullets because oh my goodness, Melina has the best time playing with Nerf guns and Nerf bullets with her cousins. And since they come over periodically, it's nice for her to have them here. And then what she has been dying for, I mean dying for was a cotton candy machine. So Santa brought her a cotton candy machine and it was $39.95. And then the cotton sugar stuff was $17.99. And I read all the reviews and I know it's going to suck, but I've, I've watched a couple of videos. So I kind of have a good idea on how to make it. It's got to heat up for like 45 minutes before you start trying to use it. Additionally, I had some gift cards that I had been given during the year and I frequently will save gift cards to buy Christmas presents with. I got one at Pottery Barn and so I bought Melina a um, sleeping bag for her dolly that has a big giant teddy bear on it. It's super cute. And then we also had a gift card to Justice. And so we got her several reversible sequence things. That's the cool thing that all the kids want. And so Melina wanted a couple of t-shirts. So we did that. And then we had a gift card to Abercrombie and we bought her a reversible sequence t-shirt there and we ended up also buying her a winter coat in the next size up because her coat is really too small it's a size five and she's wearing size eight so it looks kind of funny but she loves it and so we went ahead and bought her a coat in a size nine and we will let her wear this coat for the rest of this winter unless she grows anymore because if she grows even this much that coat's gotta go so what did we get her clothes mostly um she's growing like a weed lately so we bought her lots of clothes so presents from mom and dad will be kind of boring but it'll be stuff for her to open we got her a v-tech kid zoom watch which is kind of like a smart watch for young children so she has a digital watch that she wears periodically and she loves it so we think she'll like this one and it allows you to take selfies and stuff like that 
and then we got her a cake decorating kit also. She has been watching this video channel on YouTube and it's all about cake decorating and she has decided she wants to make a Barbie cake. So I don't know how to decorate cakes, not even a little bit, but so I got her a decorating kit and then her godmother got her some kids pots and pans and mixing stuff. So, so between the two of us, we should be able to decorate a Barbie cake. It, it's going to be a disaster. I'm sure I will film it and it'll be funny. She did ask for a purse. So we got her this cute little unicorn crossbody purse. Um, it's small, so it should be perfect for her. And we got her a Dolly and Me set of reindeer pajamas. So she has a pair and then her Dolly has, one of her Dollies has a pair. She really wanted Dolly pajamas because she had none and was desperate for them. Um, she felt like each one of her dollies needed to have their own pair of pajamas. So, so she really, that's one of the top presents she asked for. And then we got her this find it game from, um, it's like a hidden object search. It's a tube and you shake it and you have to find the objects amongst these little thingies. So that is our Christmas in a nutshell. <laughs> They're, Melina, they're watching you. You're not watching them. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe. And I will put up two videos to keep on watching. This one is my latest one. And this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.